a struggle. You know, I was part of um, a more than 30 million, 40 million people who were underfoot. And I grew up from them and among them. I couldn't um, separate myself from that, you know. And I, I think it's incumbent upon everybody to be against injustice. Unless we pick up our roots, I mean, zip up our roots, unless we do that, nobody is going to come to us and say, hey, here. And like the, the biggest aid that we can get is not like financial or foreign aid. The biggest aid that we can get is the one that we possess, our heritage. If we can get back to who we are, we can have our own industries. The things that I talked about, that we were all abundant. Uh, I mean, like you look at, for instance, um, the hair products today, you know, pull a hundred billion dollars a year out of the African community. That's just one of the things. I don't want to talk about religion and other things, you know. So we have, we have to, without abandoning what is good, you know, in, in foreign cultures, we have to get really like, um, find something for ourselves that we own, that we can sell, that we can deal with. So that once we are ourselves, I think we will get more respect than when we have our hands out and asking. Of course, it's not easy. But then we've been suffering for the last 400 years, you know. Another 100 years that, if, that we spend to become ourselves won't hurt us that much. But I don't think we should have any expectations of uh, miracles from the outside, you know. The miracles only happen in the media. You know, they tell us, oh, South Africa, what a miracle country. But inside, and uh, nothing much changes except that we can vote today. We're not harassed by police if you are uh, creative enough or if you have um, the right connections. Maybe you can get one foot into like, the other world. But um, 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 I mean, um, you, you, this is not just South Africa. It's just about every country in the world. People who are underfoot never get out from under the foot, especially when they expect that the, uh, the ones who oppress them will help them. I'm not a legend, neither am I an icon. Uh, if I came from Japan, I probably would be a wonderful sushi chef. <laughs> <laughs> if I came from Germany, I probably would be a hell of a beer brewer. <laughs> but I came from a place of music, and um, for me it was like a pig in dirty mud because I was bewitched with music from infancy. <clears throat> so I just want to clarify that if it wasn't for the people I come from, I wouldn't be anything at all. The first thing I would um, advise I would give to anybody, except especially you know my um, children and grandchildren. Uh, and nieces is don't go into politics. <laughs> don't go into politics because it's dangerous. You know, it's just dangerous and you're not going to be there for a long time. You know, it's built so that like, if you're lucky, there's two terms, unless you become a dictator. And when you become a dictator, then your life is in danger. It's, it's not a win-win situation. It's, it's a, uh, pray, pray, take, take, and uh, good luck. <laughs> and the second one um, uh, um, is um, sex is overrated, so don't try to do it. There's a train that comes from Namibia and Malawi. There's a train that comes from Zambia and Zimbabwe. There's a train that comes from Angola and Mozambique, from Lesotho, from Botswana, from Swaziland, from all the hinterlands of Southern and Central Africa. This train carries young and old African men who are conscripted to come and work on contract in the gold and mineral mines of Johannesburg 
and the surrounding provinces and metropola. <coughs> 16 hours or more a day for almost no pay. Gay! Gay! Deep, 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 deep down in the belly of the earth when they are digging and drilling for that mighty evasive stone or when they dish that mishmash mash food into their iron plates with an iron shovel or when they sit in their stinky, filthy, funky, flea-ridden barracks and hostels and they think about the loved ones they may never see again because they might already have been forcibly removed from where they last left them or perhaps wantonly murdered in the day of night by roving or marauding gangs of no particular origin. So we are told. They think about their lands and their herds that were taken away from them with the gun and the camera, with the collaborator and the dog and the tear gas and the poison with the bomb and the gatling and when they hear that choo-choo train a puffing and a smoking and a toting and a steaming and a crying and a wailing and a moaning and a screeching and yeah, yeah! they curse and they curse the coal train the coal train that brought them to Johannesburg. Stimela. Africans all over the world 
because the African world, all over the world, has had the same routine, you know. And, um, and I'm more concerned that Steve Biko was with Africans, realizing that they are Africans and that they are one, and that if they got together and became conscious of who they are, they might break out of this yoke, you know, that began to slavery. I don't think about South Africa and, 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 and in, in, in economic terms the way the world talks about it. Because when, when we talk about South Africa or Africa, we talk about the economy. Whose economy are we talking about if we don't own the continent, if we don't own the wealth of the continent? Surely when we talk about the, the economy of like the stock exchange and all that, it's not our economy. It's, I mean, like the majority of people, of African peoples all over the world, all over the world, anywhere that you go, live in poverty and in squalor, and, uh, and they can't seem to get out of it. Now, the saddest part is that the Africans who were taken overseas and have been convinced that they have nothing to do with Africa. Our fight is much, much, it's, it's almost, it's, 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 it's more about like heritage restoration and cultural revival in our heads. Because once we can get our old traditional values, once we can hook up with that, maybe we can start talking about being members of the world economy. But right now we are the servants of the world. You know, some of us are educated, some of us are going to LSE. <laughs> the villages will come from my poverty, you know. And uh, that's a fact that we have to, to, to face. And we grew up in there when we were told that education will make you better. But you can't be better alone, you know. But Bantu Biko's ideals, his dream refuses to fail. His legacy says no to the death sentence through constant torture and assault that was suffered upon his being. The time is indeed emerging again where African people will strive to revive the constant visibility of their heritage among themselves and for their children. They will create academies where we will be enabled once more to relearn our languages where we will be taught the songs of our great, 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 great grandparents. Where we will play the drums, the billas, the marimas, the bamafons, the ouds, the shakers, the chorus, the bells, the violins, the scratchers, the claps, the cymbals, the kumbas, the tam-tams, and the talking drums of our ancestors. Dancing to the choreography they have sculpted us for. We will build academies where our remaining agent will come to recite for us their oral uh, proficiencies withdrawn from the banks of their very lasting recalls of where our roots are still blooming and buried. We will build establishments where today's old and new generations will go and learn of the Songhai Empire, the Mali Empire, the Ghana Empire, Mapungubwe, Monomotaba, Mozambique, Khoisan, Iduri, Dokon, Ashanti, Masai, Peru, Ipu, Maninka, Nama, the Nile, the Zambezi, the Kalahari, the Congo, the history of Africa according to Africa. We will build monuments for those who were massacred during the Atlantic crossings of slavery those who were murdered for refusing to go west by force, those who jumped overboard rather than land in New Orleans, South Carolina, Mississippi, Caribbean, Brazilian, South American, and European slave markets. We will fashion conservatories where we shall bring back Louis Armstrong, King Oliver, Ma Rainey, Bessie Smith, Duke, Cam, Ella, Sarah, Billy, Bird, Miles, Ella Jones, Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke, James Brown, Miriam Makeba, Frango, Fela, Ebenezer Obey, Zeus Nkosi, Dorothy Masuka, Victor Zeroan, 
the Manhattan Brothers, the Dark City Sisters, Lady Mavaso, Spokesman Shia, Dolly Ratev, and Penny Piliso, the Samba, Bob Mali, Fela Budi, Demba, Tabule, Dumisani Maraire, Chimoniso Maraire, Naki Dube, Gipi Mwekezi, Ellen Selena, Alfia Sungosi, Salif Eda, Yusin Du, and all the other gods of our music. We will construct institutions where we will learn again our praise poetry, where we will reclaim our names, where the teaching of our ancient designs, couture, cuisine, artisanship, sculpture, furniture, household goods, arts and crafts, architecture, horticulture, agronomy, and agriculture will be as accessible as iPads, computers, cell phones, apps, iPods, television, radio, and glossy magazines, where our presence on the aforementioned screens would be more frequent than the daily news, the weeds, the extensions, the skin lighteners, and the urbanization and brainwashing of our psyches. We will be as visible as Victoria Falls, the Sahara, the Namibian Jews, the Serengeti Plains, the Big Five and Kruger National Park. We will construct museums where our art treasures will be on view, where our stolen artifacts adorning European, Western and Asian museums will tour the exhibition halls of our academies of heritage restoration. And we will send them back and borrow them now and again because it's not worth going to war for. And why the hell do you want to keep them in the Still, man, I'm going to do it. 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 Still, man, I'm going